This trail is a very important piece to habitat for native frogs and toads, snakes, invertebrates, and everything. Thank you, Aaron. I'm Betsy Aiken. I'm the executive director of the Westmoreland Land Trust. We're an organization that was formed in 2007 to protect land of special ecological, cultural, or recreational value in Westmoreland County. We recognize that Westmoreland County has wonderful land resources. We're still somewhat of a rural county. Uh, years ago, the thing that led to our formation was a survey of residents. This was conducted as part of Westmoreland County's creation of a comprehensive plan. Residents were surveyed about the things that they value about the county, and their top priority was the rural environment, the rural uh, nature of the county. So it, it has been recognized that open space is highly valued, our wonderful natural resources. We work to identify land of the greatest conservation value, and then we work to conserve it. So let me ask you this question, because I think this is the only land trust involved in Conservation Week for this year. What does a land trust do, and I guess what is a land trust for those who might not know? We work with people that own land, that want to conserve their land, and in addition to that, we identify some properties of very high conservation value, and we work to acquire those properties, either through purchase or donation of the land. Um, typically, we focus on properties that are one to 200 acres, but we think of properties that often are in proximity to population centers. We've recognized that an important um, part of the movement to conserve land is to have people appreciate nature, have people appreciate the value of these conserved properties. One example of a property that we've been involved with for many years is the Ackerman Nature Preserve in North Huntington Township. It's located in Ardera. It's not far from Route 30, not far from Irwin and other relatively densely populated areas. Under agreement with the county, we maintain and operate the property as a nature preserve and park. It's a great example of how we try to maintain properties for the benefit of the public, not only because of their conservation value, but also because people can visit and get out onto the properties, hike through them, um, watch birds, enjoy nature, picnic on the properties, explore streams. So that, that is a very good example of that aspect of our work. One of the projects that we're working on that we're very excited about is the Shores Farm, where you and I are right now. This is a 96-acre property. It's a former farm. It's located just north of Greensburg, three miles from downtown Greensburg. But a very beautiful property, rolling, rolling topography. Um, most of the property is open fields, very, very few wooded portions of the property. But it happens that this property has scenery that makes it exceptional. The, the slopes of the fields um, lean in all directions, 
property sits at a relatively high elevation, so there are beautiful views from the fields. It's our hope to conserve this property as open meadows, meadows of indigenous grasses and wildflowers, to provide habitat for upland bird species, for pollinator species, for small mammals, but also to integrate works of outdoor art in the property, works of sculpture. This is a very nice little light we've got here, right? But it also acts as a Bluetooth speaker. Now, you might be wondering why would a Bluetooth speaker be necessary for going out looking for frogs? One of the ways, yeah, so like the app, right? I shared with you the calls. This is how I found that eastern gray tree frog in Cambrian Somerset. I had the opportunity as an AmeriCorps service member to intern with the Westmoreland Land Trust, and I have to say it was one of the best experiences of my life. Everything that the Land Trust does is to benefit Westmoreland County. I can't say enough how thankful I am for being able to film them and to have this experience. Thank you to everybody at the Land Trust. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and share for more Conservation Week content. We'll see ya.